Palace slapped Sussex down. Meghan paid huge price for Megxit as losing the key role to Camilla. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall could expect to receive a new prestigious royal patronage from the Queen which has links to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Royal patronages are distributed to members of the royal family by the Queen. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, left swathes of vacant patronages behind following their bombshell exit from working royal life. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall could be the next to get a new patronage from the Queen in an area close to the Duchess' heart, according to reports. Camilla is thought to be an enthusiast of the dramatic arts, and reportedly she could soon be the next royal patron of the National Theatre. In 2019, the Queen gave the patronage to Meghan, which was fitting given her successful acting career before joining the royal family. A source reportedly close to Camilla told that the Duchess was disappointed not to get the prestigious patronage back in 2019. The source said, she really wanted it. She was pretty miffed when it went to Meghan, and will be all the more delighted to take it on now, after being disappointed not to get it first time round. In February 2021, following a review period after Harry and Meghan's royal exit in March 2020, the couple returned their royal patronages to the Queen. Prince Harry lost several honorary military titles and his royal patronages of the Rugby Football Union, the Rugby Football League and London Marathon Charitable Trust. Meghan also lost her roles with the Association of Commonwealth Universities and the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, along with her National Theatre patronage. Last year, the National Theatre paid tribute to Meghan for her support in making theatre accessible to all during her time as the organization's patron. A statement read, The National Theatre is very grateful for the support offered by the Duchess of Sussex throughout the course of her patronage. The Duchess championed our work with communities and young people across the UK, and our mission to make theatre accessible to all. As Buckingham Palace have stated, the process of appointing a new patron is ongoing and will be announced in due course. As non-working royals, Harry and Meghan kept several of their private patronages following their royal exit. Being a royal often means that the people around you and those you meet are eager to please. So chances are if you're a royal and you ask for something, no matter how wacky, it's likely you will get it. And although members of the firm are mainly very polite when it comes to dealing with their staff, there are quirky and sometimes bizarre requests that they make. From elaborate bath routines to very specific sandwiches, here we take a look at some of them. An insight into his routine was once revealed by Princess Diana's friend and former butler Paul Burrell who worked closely with the family in the 1990s. Speaking during Amazon Prime's documentary Serving the Royals, inside the firm, Mr. Burrell revealed, his pajamas are pressed every morning and his shoelaces are pressed flat with an iron. And when it comes to his morning bath, Mr. Burrell added that the prince also has some very specific requests. He also told the documentary, the water temperature has to be just tepid, and only half full. The ex-butler also added that the bath plug must face specific direction, his bath towel must be arranged to his taste and his underwear can't be a crease out of place. Afternoon tea is a luxury that the royals, including the queen, often like to indulge in. But according to one former royal chef, the queen only ate her sandwiches if they were cut in a particular way, with no points. According, instead she is served small jam penny sandwiches with afternoon tea. Meghan still holds patronages for Smart Works and the animal charity Mayhew, while Prince Harry has kept many patronages, including Centibale, Wellchild and the Invictus Games. Centibale, 